Hello everyone, you know you're here, and today we're going to be doing an ASMR art stream. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, you know what brought this about? Well, I thought it would be fun. So, I've got some lo-fi hip-hop music playing in the background. It's copyright free, so that should that should help and we're gonna be drawing I've got my tablet in front of me and I've got my pen ready so let's get drawing we're going to start with the head and then we'll set up the guide layers Maybe I'm trying too hard. <laughs> I think it'll be fine if I just talk a little quieter than normal instead of, you know, whispering in a kind of broken voice. In fact, I feel like this might be a little better. Just talking normally, but a little quieter than usual. There we go. Keyboard ASMR would be pretty good too, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to think of a video to do, and I thought it would be funny if I did an ASMR video. Maybe not funny. I just thought it would be fun. So far, it's pretty fun. Just talking a little quieter than normal. It's a, it's a, it's a peaceful experience. I think I, rubbed, I think I brushed up against my mic a little bit. That might affect the audio. Maybe. Okay. And then let's set up the rest of the body here. Something like this. anything this would just be a rough a rough layer you know nothing serious just a, a layer to work on there we go and that'll do for that so far You know, my art skills, not perfect, but that's okay. We will just call this layer rough body <sighs> because it's not that good. <laughs> We'll call this layer face, and then we'll get started on drawing that. I bumped my mic a little. I hope I hope that me bumping my mic every now and then doesn't disturb the piece too much. Actually, no, I wanna, I want the eyes to be a bit smaller for this specific drawing. There we go. And 
There we go. That's nice. This is turning out so far, but that's okay. You know, I've got some, uh, some, some, uh, like I said, I have some lo-fi hip-hop playing in the background, but I actually have my headphones taken off so I can hear my voice better and control it. Uh, so I don't know how good the music is. I'm sorry if the music is bad. <laughs> I hope the music is okay. Mm, I don't know if I like how this is turning out so far. just for the sake of going maybe not why don't we why don't we restart with a less ambitious pose perhaps I think that it's possible that this might have been too big a reach for me so for that reason let's move mm -hmm. I don't know Maybe, maybe the, the space that the head is at right now is okay. I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. What should I draw? I was gonna draw like Unite, and I was gonna draw myself making a shushing noise, uh, like hand sign thing. Maybe like, I don't know. Something, 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 something cute. Maybe I'll just draw like a normal self-portrait. Maybe that could be a good video. Okay, let's let's set up the guide. I think we're gonna make the line bigger. Yeah, some thicker lines will do me good, I think. I think the small lines might have been throwing me off a bit. Or maybe I'm just making wild excuses. That could be it as well. Well, I'm just trying to have fun and make a good video, you know? That's nice. I feel like the, the face is a little too thin. Is that better? I think that's better. Maybe there's just no change at all. Why don't we try drawing in the face and we'll see how that looks and then we'll decide where to go from there. Like 
I don't know if I like it, man. Is today just one of my off days with the drawings? I think today might be one of my off days with the drawings. Oh, man. Mm. Ah. Sometimes I, sometimes, <laughs> artist struggles. Can I, can I, do I have the right to call artist struggles? Or is that not something that I've earned yet? You know, I've been trying to get my hands on an iPad to make drawing more accessible. But unfortunately, with the quarantine going on, Apple Store's uh, shipments are very slow and their stock is not good. So, I've been having some trouble even even finding them in stock. Speaking of in stock, man, I went to the My Nintendo page because they had a they had freaking uh, like new rewards up that you could get for free with points. And they had this cool, like, Xenoblade Monado, like, phone ring grip thing. And I wanted it really badly. But, like, it was sold out. And it's only been out for, like, a day. And I, <laughs> I just couldn't get my hands on it. I did get some stickers, though. And those should be coming in soon. Oh, maybe I can draw Shulk. How about that? I, this was totally gonna be like just a normal video um but <laughs> it's quickly changing into something else we can just draw shulk ah uh, but maybe we should save that for another this video all of my art videos are a mess uh, tomorrow we'll draw shulk maybe i'll have two art videos in a row that would be wild let's try a pose eh? let's try it in Mm, man, I don't know. Drawing is hard. Come on. Come on, you know you can do this. It's all about, it's all about the finesse. I drew that all on the wrong layer. Are you joking? <sighs> nice. Celebrating over some good guidelines here. Let me have this. This is a weird angle I've never done before, but it's important to challenge yourself. I have a policy when doing art that if I look at something and I say, wow, that looks difficult, I should do it. <laughs> It's a bit of a chaotic policy, but it, it works. This is some thick line art, actually. That's okay. We're just gonna go along with it. This will be the face layer. look okay they look fine I think the shoulders might be a little wider than they than they actually are on, on me
This is a really unprofessional ASMR stream. Yeah, can I even, like, realistically call this an ASMR stream? This is kind of just like me talking quietly. You know what? It's my channel. I make up the rules. <laughs> Draw in the hat. No, I actually have a hat like this in real life too. It's really cool. I like this hat. There we go. That's a little bigger than it actually is on my head, but that's okay. I'm not too good at drawing my avatar, unfortunately. That looks nice. Yeah, there we go. I kind of want to do like some manga style shading. Yeah, let's 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 do that. First, though, I'm going to erase. These extra bits behind the hair. And I'm going to well, shorten the shoulders a little bit. What? Uh, no one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Cropped out the entire image. There we go. I think that's a little more accurate to, to, to me. We'll name this layer, just to keep track of everything. I have a pretty distinct uh, working order. Man, my neck is wide actually. Now that I look at it, let me let me shut that down as well. Oh, no. drop my pen. Drop my stylus, I guess. That'll make for some good ASMR. <laughs> a lot closer to itself than that. It's kind of like that, honestly. There we go. That looks good. Then let's get the jacket on. I gotta say, I really like my, my new design ever since I got a new avatar. <laughs> it's a little difficult for me to accurately draw it. But that's okay. It's a it's a lot it's it's a lot nicer than my than my old design. In a way, I kind of like my old art because it kind of lended credence to my amateur virtual YouTuber title. But. Mm, having nice art, I think it's better for my channel overall. Because unfortunately, this is the best that I can do. But practice makes perfect, right? I'm not someone who's been practicing art their whole lives. I'm just someone who likes to do art every now and then. Oh, 
Here we go. Change the mouth. What should I change it to? Sad face. I just like to keep that <laughs> Pogger Pogger <laughs> hmm. Do I want you do I want myself to be disappointed or mildly content? How about a, how about a mix? Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, let's just draw the Nike symbol. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening to- that is not- <sighs> My- my- the, the- the pen that I use likes to do this for some reason on Clip Studio. Okay. good enough <laughs> that's it'll call that good enough this isn't this isn't my best uh, work on on my self-portraits that's okay though hmm. why don't we why don't we get some shading done this is a, this is a pretty simple uh, drawing We'll just we'll just put it under and call it shading. Um, so if I want to do manga style, ideally we select all of the hair. Uh, and then what color should it be? It's, my hair is like pretty dark, I would say. So, uh, something like that, maybe. Or should it be closer to to black? Hmm. I guess again, my hair, my hair is practically black for all intents and purposes. It's really close to like navy blue. It is navy blue, actually. So yeah, we'll we'll color it. We'll, we'll color it black like that. And then we gotta color my eyes, I just realized. Face. Can we just like, I wonder if we just bucket tooled what would happen. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Not quite. Not, not quite what I needed. We'll just do this manually, that's okay. There we go. Same with the other eye. And the pupil. There we go. Nice. I like that. Okay. Now let's do some shading on my hat. As for my hat, I think it's like mostly kind of like it would be like mostly gray as far as i know how it works right feel free to correct me on the comments on this if i'm wrong but like how like black and white only shading works is that like you take how dark the actual color itself is and transfer that to grayscale right is that it i don't really know the technicalities of of of, of manga art i just know that i want to get good at it Ooh. 
Ooh, I know this trick. Something like that. Yeah, that looks fun. Now let's select the jacket. And as far as this, it's probably pretty light gray. Looking like this. This is this is grayscale you know. And then this oops. This little bit here is probably a little darker. There we go. I hope that this is a relaxing video for you guys to watch. As for this, it's actually pretty light, right? Yeah, yeah. Looking at my looking at my live 2D model, it's like a little lighter than the actual jacket. So then it would probably be closer to a, to a light, right? And then these little bits here would be. I don't think I can select that actually. <laughs> I can try my best, but I won't get far. I'd be like, oh, we need to shade this part too. Grayscale you know, you know, it's kinda like edgy you know, you know I guess. Yeah, edgy, edgy Yunayo. <laughs> black and white, black and white Yunayo. Yeah. Hmm, what should the background be? Uh, manga backgrounds. Let's see. Hmm. Man, drawing backgrounds is hard. Man, some manga artists are so good. Why don't we try drawing buildings? That would be a little complicated. But also this video is only like half an hour so far, so. Let's dump all of these into a layer called Unaya so we can make it visible and invisible at will. Like so. Background. Whoops, I dumped that into the Unaya folder. I don't want to make it invisible, but I do want to make it transparent. Just so I can I can see what I'm drawing on top of. Now what do I want the background to be? Um <sighs> I don't know. What would what would feel natural? <laughs> we could just do speed line. <laughs> that would be a little silly. Let's try it. Just for fun. If I... That's kind of what I want. I think if I... If I... Whoops. Then if I... <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to, oh. Actually, I think if I, yeah, so now it should only, it should only color in on everything except for, except for me. So now if I, <laughs> 
speed lines. Hmm. How about what are what are each of these do? Okay, so that's like inverse. Yeah, brightness. What's that? Oh, oh. So it's like literally like like something is super bright. That's me. I'm super bright. I'm beautiful. Look at that. Anyways. Oh gosh. Uh, dark saturated line. Oh, oh, shoot, a curve. Oh. Oh, I can curve it around. How does that look? Not very good. <laughs> I do like it though. Or I can do scattered streamlines. I think that like this is just about as close to a speed lines as I could get, right? Yeah. Something about it though I don't like. Hmm. Maybe I can edit it a little bit. I don't know, it just seems really artificial. Kind of close, and there are like big gaps in between them. Yeah, like what's up with this? That's a large gap. Hmm. There's something called gap from reference position. Let's try to turn it to one. Okay, now let's try to turn it all the way up. Ooh, that looks that looks strange. <laughs> What if we just add sparkles? Is there a sparkle pen that I can use? Hang on. Sparkle. Sparkle pen. Uh, there has to be a sparkle pen, right? Um, pattern. Oh, we could get flowers. Although, I want them to be black and white. Cherry blossoms, that's nice. We've got some stars. Snowflakes. Um, cosmos. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I can make cracks. That's fancy. These are some fancy brushes. Stars? That's close. A sparkle! Oh, there is a sparkle pen. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Big brush size. Uh, I, want the, I want the brushes to be large. Those are some big sparkles. What if we like put them in chunks, you know? I want them to be grouped closer. Particle density, turn it up, yeah. What does sparkle be? Mm. Sparkle C, there's so many different types of sparkles. Let's try just making it sparkles. The, ba the backgrounds of my drawings are basically just me playing with the effects tool. <laughs> this works. I like that. I think I forgot to add some shading uh, behind my hair. So let me take care of that. There we go. <laughs> Black and white uni with sparkles behind me. I think that works. <laughs> this was a short video though. That's okay. Uh, 
if I'm still feeling up to it tomorrow, I might do a drawing of Shulk from Xenoblade Chronicles. I think that would be cool. I'll probably like post it to the Xenoblade Chronicles subreddit. Reddit has been like the main source of my publicity and I'm very thankful to them. I don't think I'd be anywhere close to where I am now if it weren't for Reddit. The r slash uh, virtual YouTuber subreddit has been really supportive of me. Someone even told me to get some sleep on that one video where I was really tired, and that was nice to, to read. Hmm. I think... I like being a VTuber. No, I don't think I know that I enjoy being, being a VTuber. This is like the most motivated I've been for anything, like basically my whole life, I think. I've never been this this motivated to, to make something work and make something succeed. Mm. Being a VTuber isn't all fun. If you're trying to make a career out of it, it's it's kind of difficult. Especially if you're a male VTuber and especially if you're an English VTuber. Although I think I've made it considerably further than most of my other male English VTuber <laughs> uh, counterparts. Which, lucky me, I suppose. I remember early on when I was just starting, I found someone advertising themselves on the virtual YouTuber subreddit and he had a stream going up. He was a male English VTuber. And he had like zero viewers. I was the only one and it was kind of sad. So he stuck around for a little bit. Although I didn't send him any chat messages. I kind of wish I did. I should find his channel. Maybe maybe someday if, if we both get more popular we could collab. Hmm. Yeah. Being a being a VTuber is tough. But it's fun. I think it's going to like it's already a lot of fun. Just sitting around and talking to a camera. But I imagine it'll get more fun once I, you know, become more popular. Once I can start streaming, I've kind of hit a, a bit of a, a bit of a rut as far as my subscriber count goes. I'm kind of stuck at 34 right now. <laughs> it's a little sad. Like when I when I put up a video. Uh, and it has like zero views. It's a little sad. I remember when I uploaded my 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 last Roblox video. For the first few minutes, it didn't get any attention. And if I'm being honest, that video wasn't very good. That was just me being lazy and wanting to put out a video. But I've set up a, a daily upload schedule expectations for myself, and I really don't want to break that. So even if I'm feeling a little lazy, I'll try and get some good content out for you guys to watch. I wonder if there are some people who rely on my daily uploads for entertainment, you know? Like how a lot of people have their favorite YouTubers, and they always wait for their uploads so that they can watch it. I wonder if there's anyone like that with me. It would be cool. Because <laughs> I definitely do get views on my videos whenever I post them. Sometimes it takes a little longer than usual, but I do get views and I'm very thankful for them. The fact that I consistently get views is something else. Mm. It's really cool. I hope that this video was at least kind of relaxing. My goal is to make a video that you could kind of relax and chill out to. Maybe even like fall asleep to it. And I hope that I succeeded in that. Hmm. I might be, I might, I might do more ASMR streams or I guess videos for now. Streams in the future is what they'll become. But I might do more ASMR videos if 
people like this one. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I'm a little tired. <laughs> I always seem to be tired during my videos. I think it's just that like I'm sitting down for so long that I start to, my body just starts to kind of turn itself off. Like all of my tiredness just kicks in because I'm sitting still for so long. Just kind of talking to myself. I guess it kind of puts me in a, a relaxed trance of some sort. I'm having fun. Man. Some manga artists are so good. I'm scrolling through, I was looking up references for what I should do for the background of this picture. And now I'm just scrolling through looking at them. Maybe I should learn to draw these kind of black and white backgrounds. I think that would be cool. I'd like to learn how to do like a manga art style. With like the, the kind of manga shading where it's just kind of like one or two tones of shading. I don't know, the, sim the simplicity of black and white. Cause like manga is like, black and white in general is interesting cause the colors itself are so simple, but that means that everything else about it can be, can be made more interesting. That's why, like, a lot of anime don't live up to their manga counterparts as far as art goes. With the, I think one of the most famous examples being the manga Berserk. Because Berserk is, is legendary for its manga art. I think it's the problem is that the art in the manga is so detailed that on a seven, on like a strict week time limit per episode, I don't think an anime could reliably, could reliably recreate it. It's just all so detailed. Miura doesn't have a very consistent upload schedule, but he pays it back in how good his art is. Hmm. Anyways, I think I'm just rambling. Although, I don't know. I think it's I think it's kind of nice when I ramble. What about you guys? Mm, I like I'd like to know what is and isn't working with my videos so that I can make them more entertaining. Anyways. Uh for uh that being said, my name is I guess I'll be signing out. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think there's much else to do. I'll, uh, I'll I'll post this image on my Twitter, and I will announce the video when it goes up on the virtual YouTuber subreddit. With that being said, my name is Yunayo, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.